Hi, this is Mauro from PrimfoTech.com, and on this video, we're going to look at the steps to install Windows 10 May 2019 update on your computer. While there is a number of ways to upgrade Windows 10, Microsoft also makes available the Windows 10 Update Assistant to help you upgrade in case your PC isn't getting the new version through Windows Update. If you want to install version 19.03, you will need to go to this Microsoft Support website and then click the Update Now button to get the Update Assistant. I will be leaving the link in the video description so you don't have to pause the video. When you're ready to upgrade, double click the installer, click the update now button. Once the update assistant confirms that your computer is compatible with version 19.3, you can click next and the system will proceed to download and install the update automatically. Keep in mind that this process can take some time depending on your internet connection and hardware configuration. Just remember, before proceeding with any installation of Windows, it is always a good idea to disconnect any peripherals, including external storage, printers, and other devices to avoid installation problems. Also, make sure to create a backup in case of something goes wrong and you need to roll back. I have a video tutorial on how to backup your device, and I will be leaving that link in the video description below. Once the update is ready, you will need to click the Restart Now button to complete the installation. This process should take anywhere between 15 to 35 minutes, but it will depend on your hardware configuration. Once the installation has completed, you can click the exit button to exit the update assistant and if you want to double check if your PC is actually running version 19.03 you can open the settings app and then on system go to the about page and on Windows specification the version number should be 19.03 and the OS bill should be 18.362.116 or later. Another way you can check is to open the start menu and then look for the run command type winbird and you will see now that we have the version 1903 installed on the computer. The last thing left to do is to go to the settings tab and you want to make sure to go to Windows Update to make sure that you have the latest updates. And that's all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.